Hello friend, this is Rupesh from watching CVNet's video series on C++ and today's topic is constant keyword on function overloading in C++. So there is a different behavior when it comes to the constant keyword when you are overloading the functions in C++. So I have listed down two points here. First one is C++ allows to overload member functions on the basis of constant and non-constant functions. So you know that we can have constant member functions which won't allow you to change data members. So we can overload functions on the basis of constant and non-constant functions in our class. And the second point is constant parameters allows to overload member functions and normal functions, but it should be reference or parameters. What I mean to say is, let's suppose you have two functions, f, u, n, and this is taking integer and another one is taking constant integer. So these two functions are similar functions because it is taking value or the parameter by value. But if you want to overload function on the basis of constant only, then you have to have these parameters either reference or pointer. Then only it will be different. What I mean to say is if this is integer pointer and this is integer, I mean constant integer pointer, then these two functions are different functions. So you can overload these two functions. But previous case was like this, you didn't had any pointer, so you cannot overload these two functions. Actually, they both are similar. Okay, so let's do the programming and check that. So the first point is we need to have some class. So I'll write the class very quickly. So this is the class and let me explain what it is doing. It is just a test class. We have one data member, what we'll not be using here. And this is the constructor, doesn't make any sense for our example. The main point is these two functions. First one is taking only integer value and another one is taking constant integer value. And we're just printing those values, okay? And here I have created the object t and we have this k with 10 and constant integer p so we have non-constant and constant so let's call these two functions so t dot print first we'll pass k which is a non-constant value and then we will pass this p which is constant value and we may think it will work because this k is a non-constant value so it should call this one and this p is a constant integer so it should call this one but it is not going to compile so let's check that. So we have got the error. Let me show you the error here. It is telling that error class member cannot be redeclared. It means it is thinking these two functions, this one and this one both are similar. So as I said, we cannot do this. And this is the second point. So yeah, we are working on second point. I forgot to mention that. So as I said, this should not be passed by value. If you want to overload this, you should be using either reference or pointer. Okay, so let's make this reference and let's see if it is working or not. So if it is reference, and you know what? If you are making reference or pointer, then only it makes sense, you know? Just think about it. So compiling and voila, it is working, 10 and 20. So there is no problem at all. These two functions are different functions now. And let's go ahead and try the pointer. So if I will make this pointer, and this also pointer then we have to have this as here and here and instead of passing k we should pass address of k and address of p let's compile this again see it is compiled and working fine so if you want to overload two different function but on the basis of constantness then you should use either reference or pointer and yeah i was telling you that it makes sense with reference and pointers only why? Because you will be keeping some parameter constant for these reasons only. Because you don't want this k which belongs to this scope changed here. That's why you are keeping it as constant. So you can only change this k here when you are passing by either reference or pointer. So it makes sense to keep this pointer or the reference as constant if you are passing by only value, it doesn't make any sense. So this was the second point. So let's look at the first point now. First point says C++ allows to overload member functions on the basis of constant and non-constant functions. So let me just remove all these things. 
we don't need this anymore and instead of this i can print some message like non constant and here we can have constant and i will make this function constant so for that we need a constant and a non constant object so this t is a non constant object let's create test t2 and make this one as t1 this test is going to be a constant object and we can call t1 dot print and t2 dot print and let's see if it is working see it is working so t1 is calling the non constant version of the same function you can see that these two functions are looking similar returning void taking no parameter returning void taking no parameter but the only difference is it is constant and yes we can overload functions if they are constant and non constant in class so that's it if you have any doubt please comment and don't forget to hit the like button it would help me a lot if you want to help me please hit that like button thanks for watching and i will see you in the next videos and yeah make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you can get the notification for upcoming videos like this see you bye bye